Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Exotic Astrology. We are here with uh, Manas Kumar Ji, and today he is going to explain uh, us once again very beautifully, as he did last time, uh, about one hidden secret meaning of every house. So today he is going to explain more about the tenth house in a similar way, but uh, he will explain how to understand this using the sun's transit. Okay, so it's a mind-blowing video. Please. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much, Bhavji ji, uh, for calling me. Uh, so, like, as uh, as you can see, that there is always a one word, okay? And I, as I explained in last video, that we, we can derive the meaning of that word by a method. And what is that secret method? The secret method, uh, which I would say, it's not that secret. <laughs> These, okay, it's all about that uh, to realize it. Okay, so the thing is that we have to we have to understand the motion of sun. Okay, so uh, consider Bhavji ji, like when sun uh, rises up, it rises uh, in first house. Okay, the ascendant is the point from which if it is it, it is going up, we will say that it is. Uh, like mo good morning, like it's a it's a time that we say that sun rising up and it's a good morning time. After that, uh, just as it uh, it got into first house, it will move into twelfth house, okay. And after twelfth house, it will move into move into eleventh house and then tenth house. Yes. And after that, tenth house. No, now uh, this is the way like sun moves. Now, what is it for in for me to? And from this motion, okay. So the very first thing which I would say, like, uh, consider a very very smart understanding about twelfth house. When sun when sun gets into twelfth house, uh, it is like a state of a child, a child who is uh, who is having desire to do many things, but his his gross uh, body is not supporting him, okay. So the gross body exhibits something that kind of inability. So the one word for 12 house is inability. Wow. Okay. Person, person tries to do so many things, even like uh, he, he will feel that he can do it. But a child, uh, if a small child, you will say, can he do that? No, let's say you consider a five-year-old child. Okay. I'm not taking the example of Dhruva Maharaj, but if uh, uh, if uh, you say a five-year child, old child, can he uh, actually fast for uh, one day or two day? Probably, if he will try, he will be he will be fainted. No, no. There are many things like if he would like uh, uh, tolerate a sun whole day. No, his body is not uh, able to uh, tolerate so much uh, ghastly. Uh, what can I say? Uh, sunlight. Yes. Uh, his is is having a, a kind of tenderness. No, yes. that's a twelfth house is more kind of focusing about inability. Okay. Now the better part comes. Okay. So after twelfth house, the sun moves to the to the eleventh house. This is the this is the phase of the sun's life when it is kind of having youth. youth Kind of propensity, lot of energy, lot of passion, no, a passion to show the world, a passion to uh, conquer different things. So the one word for the eleventh house is enthusiasm. Enthusiasm. When you add enthusiasm, a true enthusiasm to anything, the thing uh, becomes success. Yes. Success. And you know the the feature of a. Uh, uh, 11th house, when sun is in 11th house, he is having majority, you know, the, see the, see the strength of sun at the time of 10 a.m., no, it is having, it is having good strength, you know, yes. and maturity, and uh, he is sure that he is not achieved his full uh, potential, that means he has to gain more, so yes. for that, he is going up and up. And that is what uh, uh, the adds meaning to the eleventh house. You know, 
that going up and up, the enthusiasm, enthusiasm. And 11th house means actually that. So uh, whether you add it to, you just add 11th house for, uh, with any other house. It will simply give you one thing. That is what? Success. Okay, success. Okay. Yeah. Achieve success. Okay. This okay. is the, the meaning of 11th house. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> now the 10th so, house. Now the most important thing, the 10th house, this is the, one of the important house. You know, when sun moves from 11th house to 10th house, there is, uh, 10th house is also meaning almost same success also, but there is a, there is a shuttle difference between 10th house and 11th house. You know, uh, when sun reaches to the topmost level, okay, consider yourself uh, at a place of sun, how you will see all the arena, the arena of whole universe, how you will see, uh, at least how you will see the earth, you will see uh, that everything with crystal clear clarity, this is the position of administration, you know, yes. when you can be a, a very good administrator, when you are at a place where you can see everything clearly uh, in your, uh, in the place where you are working, basically, yes, maybe office or like that if you are uh, if you are basically a boss of uh, some company then you can uh, you can uh, judge uh, why the things are going bad and not going good only when you are at 10th house position yes you know? yes and uh, the thing is that when you are uh, when sun reaches at 10th house he is having a feeling what feeling that is that already I am at a level from I cannot rise up. Okay. Yes. It's not a morose kind of feeling. It is a kind of uh, feeling that uh, I have. Uh, I am like content. Okay. Yes. I don't think because sun is like uh, I am already. I am uh, able to see everything from here. I yes. don't want to go up from here. Yes. Okay. That's a kind of feeling which gives you a stability in yourself. Okay. Yes. So oh, stability is the main keyword for this and uh, similar to it is a determination. You know, this is a uh, stability or determination is like, uh, is like related keyword for this. Yes. When um, yeah, is have 10,000 prominent. So it basically gives you a feeling that, he, uh, that yeah, uh, he is like more satisfied. Oh. If, person who is having 11th house uh, in his uh, prominent in his chart he will be he'll be he will be gaining more than a person who is having 10th house okay Why? House will Why? Gain more. He's having enthusiasm he is having enthusiasm yes but, <laughs> but the enthusiasm is also having a feeling that you are not very much satisfied yeah and if you are not having satisfaction you will not be content. Yes. You will not be peaceful. 11th house gives you more money, definitely. Yes. But it will not give you peace at that. 10th uh -huh. house will give you that. 10th house will give you that. Fantastic. Yes. Fantastic. So 10th house, uh, the hidden meaning we can say if a planet is there in 10th or 10th lords, the size active, some kind of stability and satisfaction he will feel by which he feels that, uh, yes. I have achieved what I wanted. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That okay. is the main core thing of 10th house. Yes. Yes. And what do you do after the 10th house? <laughs> <That's fine. laughs> so, so, like you would be thinking uh, that uh, when when the sun is at 10th, everything already he has achieved. No, uh, it, 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 at least it gives him a feeling. Uh, it is not about that, that a, uh, a person if is uh, having 10th house prominent, then he will be very wealthy. But whatever the wealth he will be having, he will be satisfied with that. The 10th yeah. house means that. Now what? When he as he's at that level, what he will do? He will be searching something more in some other domain. Which, because he has... Uh, has a search to have 
content of his mind more peace of his mind everybody is basically searches for these two things yes. for happiness happiness is you no know, is is more into what when sun sun is at 10th house it goes to 9th house next yes so 9th house actually means what as i was uh, explaining earlier the umbrella that is shelter no so 9th house means shelter and actually when sun moves to that 9th house that means he has apparently left the glorious position the glorious dignified position and he has bowed down to a spiritual uh, path basically so he has a shelter of spiritual path maybe or uh, or or like uh, a, a path which is uh, which is uh, like elders are following in his family maybe his father uh, it is shelter is a meaning which which can be related to all those person who who are able to give him a shelter so uh, yeah so if it's a context of a small boy then a, a father is a shelter no uh, and if is a grown up person then uh, a path of spirituality is a shelter no uh, kind of that he will uh, he will be gaining access to that he will at least to gain access of that that is the beauty of night and it's on different paradigm already although that's a higher one but in uh, in a material perspective ninth house is having less relevance yes yes and that that's what is very interesting i mean uh, i was also hearing this somebody was telling that the uh, ninth house if you see is the 12th from the 10th house okay so it can be very great for getting a new position but mm -hmm. because it is a trine from ascendant yeah so how do you reconcile it is not good for name fame but the lagna also wants name fame right so mm -hmm. but it is a trine and trines are always auspicious so that means you have left name fame to gain something higher which is mm -hmm. your elevation okay so uh, uh the soul thing in is uh, in the in this is that pavji ji that it is it is more beautiful to understand that how a person becomes actually satisfied you know i have told that when he was at 10th level uh, like uh, the 10th house was there he was also having satisfaction but that satisfaction was of different level and when we are talking about the level of satisfaction of which ninth house will give that is of different level altogether yes yes so so you know the lowest of the uh, satisfaction is the satisfaction from senses oh okay and that is what it is been achieved from 10th house no okay. when a person having good 10th house then materially he will be situated well and satisfied yes but he 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 will be lacking that spiritual spiritual spark in inside himself okay which only uh that spark will be blown up only when he actually takes shelter of a detached person who is a, actually a detached person a spiritual detached person and that is why i guess parasar muni says you know when the lords of the 9th and the 10th are combined that is the top post of all yogas dharma karma dipati yoga that is why he says that i guess <laughs> yes thank you very much amazing session it was uh, very grateful to you and uh, we discussed the second house the 9th house and the 10th house and a bit of 11th and the 12th also so if you are enjoying this content then please let us know if you want him to come again uh, and make uh, such videos with me all right so thank you very much for your patience and if you are new then please subscribe and hit the like button because he really deserves a like <laughs> and, uh, thank you so much last yeah. question to you are you doing consultations this is uh, uh, this is like a uh, big question <laughs> <laughs> because i don't want that uh, people just hear me and forget people i want that 
they are benefited from your knowledge and i want that they should consult you and then you should help them actually all right so i will give your mail id below and whoever wants a consultation then you can just mail him and then you can respond accordingly whatever uh, energy your charges you have okay because i don't think you have a website or your youtube channel so you will be doing it through your email id so please uh, approach him for a reading if you want to know how your planets are behaving uh, the secrets actually <laughs> and secrets you won't find in any youtube channel nor even in 1100 videos which i have uploaded in exotic you only find with him right so please go and uh, have a reading with him as soon as possible okay thank you very much and uh, i really hope you also enjoyed and hope to see you soon right thank you so much very well